I read in December 2020. First up we have Piranesi by Susanna Clarke. This is one of the most anticipated books of 2020 from Bloomsbury and I managed to get a proof copy so this is the proof copy which is beautiful. I was really impressed with this book it's very very uh, Susanna Clarke ish um, I really loved the world that she created and the story that she built around Piranesi and the house that is involved. Um, the ending is a twist that you don't necessarily see coming which I quite enjoyed. I don't often get a book that takes me by surprise but this one definitely did. Next we have The Mermaid of Black Conch by Monique Roffey. Now you might have seen this on the Costa Awards uh, long list and I believe shortlist now. Um, this is the story of a mermaid um, off the coast of a fictional island called Black Conch and the love story or not necessarily a love story that entails. It's gorgeously written, it's very poetic, it's very atmospheric and I just fell in love with the characters from the word go. They were just so beautifully realised. This is well worth a read. This is well worth all of the praise that is being heaped on it and it's definitely one that you should pick up if you haven't already. Next is Bolt from the Blue by Jeremy Cooper. I was incredibly fortunate to get an advanced copy of this. It comes out in January this year and it is the telling of a relationship between a mother and a daughter uh, through the medium of letters and postcards and emails. I really loved the style of this book. I thought it was perfectly put for how the the relationship evolves and um, how the mother and daughter interact with each other and I absolutely fell in love with the mother. You will cry at the end, um, it is very very sad but it's just one of those stories that you can't put down, you're just dragged on and on and on into this beautiful relationship that is not perfect but it's full of affection sometimes and uh, wit and uh, style and and again I'm gonna praise the mother in this because she's just brilliant. Next we have the winner of this year's Booker Prize, Shuggy Bane by Douglas Stewart. If you haven't already heard of it then where have you been because it's been everywhere, it's been lauded as one of the best uh, books of the year for understandable reasons and it is just gorgeous. It tells the semi-fictional story of a young man growing up in Glasgow as he tries to care for his alcoholic mother. Um, it is absolutely heartbreaking. It reminded me a little bit of A Little Life um, in that it is kind of relentlessly upsetting but there is a hopeful end to it and I just think it is well deserving of the prize. I really 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 adored this book. Um, it's not often that I would go back and read a book again but I would definitely go back and read this one again. Where the Crawdads Sing by Delia Owens is a thriller slash coming of age story which sounds a bit odd but makes perfect sense when you read it. It's one of those rip-roaring reads that you speed through that you're desperate to know the ending of and then when it's in ended you get really upset because it's finished and you haven't got that story uh, anymore. I did really love this book. I'm not sure about the ending on it. Um, I don't know what other people think. Tell me what you think in the comments. But I really loved the coming of age side of the story. I'm not sure that the thriller side was necessarily needed for the plot. Um, but it was an entertaining read. For fans of Eva Ibbotson, I'm going to say I'm really sorry I've never read any Eva Ibbotson before, but I'm really glad I started with The Secret Countess. This story is a kind of Cinderella style story um, of Anna, who is a Russian countess who loses everything in the revolution and comes to work as a maid in a big house in England. Thus ensues many escapades and, of course, a love story. 
and it's just a really sweet comforting read um, it's like having a warm bath and a cup of tea it's just gorgeous I really enjoyed this um, I'm going to say rip roaring again because you do speed your way through Eva Ibbotson I find um, but this has definitely opened a, a gateway into reading a lot more of hers and last but not least this month I reread The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien now I know I said I don't reread books very often but Tolkien is one of those authors that I read over and over again I tend to read the Hobbit and or Lord of the Rings once a year, once every couple of years. I really really love these and I got these beautiful editions um, through the Waterstone sale and I just really really adore The Hobbit. It, if you don't know it then I recommend going and reading it but it tells the story of Bilbo Baggins, um, a Hobbit who doesn't do very much until he is dragged off on an adventure with a bunch of dwarfs and it's just very very entertaining it's very comforting it's very funny at times and it's you know a little bit scary for what I would consider a children's book so um, definitely one to read to your kids um, but perhaps when they're a little bit older to understand that dragons aren't real so that's it for my December reads. I hope you've enjoyed the video and let me know in the comments which books you've read, which books you want to read now and which books are coming up in 2021 that you're really excited about. Bye!